want a taste of what we do uh-huh. I'm just uh-huh. cooking with my boo right. We just doing what we do Do you, do you, do you, do you want a taste of what we do uh-huh. I'm just cooking with my boo right. We just doing what we do Thank you guys for watching. Welcome, Welcome to, to the My Ray Show. Hey y'all, so we are back. I know you guys miss us. And today we got something good for y'all. This is something that we make for our family. Something that me and mine both like a lot. Um, what do we call it? Burgers. Do you have a special name for it or it's just like burgers? Do you have a special name for it? I call it stuffed burgers. What you call it? Burgers. Just burgers. Just burgers. Okay. Y'all, so we make this. eat it like a regular burger. Whatever, but it, burger. it doesn't taste like a regular burger. Sloppy burger? It can be that, but it's I'm gonna eat it like all that. <laughs> Anywho, so we're gonna get right into it, y'all, and show y'all how we make our stuffed burgers. And yeah, we got a lot uh, going on. We got a newborn, my name in the background. We got a new home. So we're just gonna bring y'all into our home and hope y'all enjoy these stuffed burgers. Get back at you. Alright, so let's get things first. We gotta find out what we're cooking with our burgers. So here's all the ingredients. Starting with our pepper, we're gonna have our, I reckon the Cajun seasoning. We got the garlic salt, the garlic powder, the pure sesame oil, the oyster sauce. Tell them about that oyster sauce. All right, so oyster sauce just locks in all of your moisture and it just brings out the flavor and beef. So I recommend you do that. Do not skip that part. Or the sesame oil, make sure you get that too because it makes the uh, burger real juicy. Real juicy. juicy. Everybody loves a juicy burger. Yeah. And then of course you need your salt. Mm -hmm. Brings us over to the buns we'll be using. We're using the Sara Lee Hawaiian bun, uh, buns. We like it a little sweet. So you know, it's up to you. You can use regular buns or the sweet buns. Pound of ground beef. Ground beef. Some bacon. Turkey over here. No, no, no poultry. None of that swine. Uh huh. Of course. Cheese. You just gonna drop it on my camera like that? Lettuce. Iceberg lettuce. Any Already pre chopped. Sweet mini bell peppers. <laughs> and we're also gonna use some pickles. And we're also gonna cut up some onions in that too. Just a These are special bread. pickles though. Tell me about them. I found these pickles. Yeah. They sweet and spicy. You ever had them? Oh, sweet and spicy. Yeah, I, I ain't buy so. They all that. I don't know. Had to take a quick little break. You know, we got a newborn. He's a little antsy. You gonna say hey to everybody, man? Yeah, he he ain't really fooling with y'all right now. Yeah, I know it's nap time. Right, yeah. Guys, so I am going to go ahead and cut up my sweet mini peppers and my onions. And at the same time, I'll be getting the ground beef, putting all this nice seasoning, getting everything together for the stuffing. So we're going to make it happen. I'm going to get it ready for the seasoning. We're just going to dump that in there. Go by y'all. they just using that. What I like to do is I like to rip straight down the middle on one side. And what I do is, the easiest way is I push from the outside of the bag in to try to push all the meat out. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do. That's the easiest thing I do. Just put the meat in but the bowl. But a hater gonna hate. You feel me? Just put the meat in the bowl. Hate. So why do you So first thing is first is black pepper. That's what we use them first. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna use is salt and pepper. I said salt and pepper. I mean, next thing we're gonna use is salt. <laughs> So I say we only use what about two tablespoons of each salt and pepper. Yeah. Just going into it. You know, it all just depends on if you're heavy-handed or not. You know how you like your meat. That you know. too. Uh, we're gonna use a tablespoon of this garlic salt. Don't ask me how I know. You know, when you're from the country, it's all in the wrist action. We be whip, whipping it with the wrist, so you know what you're pouring in your bowl when you're pouring it. You don't need no measuring cups. It's all up in here. If you know any of your great aunts, your grandmas, and you ask them like, how do you know how much you put in the bowl? They're gonna say, watch out now. It's all in the wrist, baby. It's all in the wrist. Another tablespoon of this. So we're gonna top it off. We're gonna finish it with the Cajun seasoning sauce. Another tablespoon. Y'all like when you're cooking and you smell all the seasons together? Oh, bless you, child. Oh, goodness gracious. I guess for him to make him sneeze, but for me, it's like that's the best part because I love smelling all those seasons together. 
The food, not me. <laughs> All right, so now we got the oyster sauce. Now we're gonna refer to the expert in this area on this way to go. Okay. So for the oyster sauce, you know, you just it's kind of like the same thing with a little wrist action. You know, you just get a little look for it. So I say about maybe two teaspoons. It just depends on you though. And two teaspoons. How you want it to taste. The oyster sauce doesn't really have like a taste. It just locks in moisture. That makes sense. Oh, you need help, Mister? Okay. Do I need help? Okay. See, and it comes out kind of slow. Then we're going to go in with the sesame oil. So we're going to go back to the expert on this. I'm going to put the top back on. Uh, one tablespoon is fine. One tablespoon. So now we got all the seasoning inside of our bowl. We got our hamburger meat. And we're about to mush it all together and get prepared for our stuffing items. Starting with our peppers, yeah. our sweet peppers, and our onion. And everything else that Shereza just going to throw inside. We're going to make sure these things are nice and stuff. Right now I'm going to get all the seasoning blended in this bowl. So... Ooh, that look like fun. Oh no, it ain't fun. It's not? Mm -mm. It looked like fun. It, it ain't fun. You always do the fun parts. But, so with the peppers and the onions, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it inside of the pan and I'm gonna saute it. That way when I put it inside the meat, it already has flavor. Yeah. And it gets the meat flavor and then you put it back on the grill, yep. right? All right guys, so Charade has already finished up the sweet bell peppers. We're going to set those to the side, and before we throw those in, we're going to wait for her to get done with the onions. You see she put a little elbow grease in. Now, here's one thing. You guys got to be safe. Onions make you cry. Shreya, you crying right now? No, I'm not crying, child. I look like I'm crying. She cries all the time with cutting onions. But whatever. And she calls me to come in and finish the job. I so do you guys are going to be right here. You're going to watch. Make sure she cut these onions without crying. Hmm? Yeah. What did I tell you? Am I crying? It's not crying, the difference. You wouldn't know. How about you cut it? You blocking your eyes. You trying to be romantic or something? I'm the one taking all the heat. You call it a professional? Alright guys, so we got our onions, we got our sweet meat, bell peppers, and we already have our meat seasoned. So now we're just going to take this to the pot, which is our onions and our sweet mini bell peppers. And the reason that we're cooking this beforehand, before we put it into the meat, is because it gives the meat additional seasoning. Now you don't want to cook your patty with the raw onions and stuff because it ain't got that same taste, it ain't the same flavor. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we're going to take these to the pot and show you guys what we cook. Alright, so we're laying a little bit of that pure olive oil on there. Right? Put a little fire to it. You can tell she ain't in the kitchen long. What? No, please. My fire would have been on. Good for you. My fire would have been on. I'm talking about tit 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 on. Hers was tit 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 tit. Too much of that. Whatever. So you see, she chopped up this right here. As you can tell, we still got a bunch of big pieces. Look at I chopped up that good pieces. stuff. Look at them huge pieces of iron. Sure, it's come right, on. We're going to make it right. We're going to make oh. it right. Look at her. Look, Ashley, so I'm gonna put some oil on you. Oh, I am not Ashy. Hey, you, you, you been Ashy. Okay, let's just sit them down. All right, y'all, so as you can see, got these all nice and sauteed, and we're just gonna pour it in here. Now, I don't recommend you doing it with your hands after you use the hot uh, onions and bell peppers. Just use the, the same spoon, that way you don't burn yourself. Guys, as you can tell, 
we have made it off the nerves. They hit hard. We're about to put yours together for months ago. Best thing you ever gonna have. Hands down. Finger licking good. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites. Y'all try it and let me know how it tastes. Let me know what your family thinks. Alright, that's the end of it. We <laughs> gonna make sure you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe. And subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Yeah. Keep up with this crazy lady. Keep up with and this my crazy normal self. Man. No, he's not normal by far. <laughs> crazy and normal. Combination like salt and pepper. But we're coming to you live in five, cooking up these desirable meals, just how we do it all the time. My rays. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.